Good morning. In the last class, uh, you have seen that uh, this topic was uh, discussed in the last class, velocity and acceleration of the piston. Actually, in the last class, in that video, uh, only displacement, this expression for displacement was obtained. Okay. Displacement was displacement, uh, displacement of the piston. <coughs> That was denoted by x and x was equal to r into n plus 1 minus root over of n square minus sin square theta plus cos theta. Okay. So here x is the piston displacement, r is the crank radius or the length of the crank, n is equal to l by r, length of the connecting rod divided by r, that is crank length, and theta. This is the angle made by the crank with the horizontal line or connecting the piston and the center of the crank okay that was equal to theta uh, sorry 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 yes that was right uh, anyway so to find out display velocity and acceleration of the piston what we need to do is that uh, Displacement is known, so if you take differentiation of this displacement with respect to time, you will get velocity. Okay, so velocity, velocity v, okay, this is v, this is equal to what? dx dt, and this dx dt, this can be written as dx d theta. Since t is not present here, instead of t, theta is present in this expression for x, therefore this can be written as dx d theta into d theta dt. Okay. Now, what is d theta dt? d theta dt is equal to, this is angular velocity. Okay. Because this is rate of change of uh, angular displacement with respect to time d theta d theta is equal to rate of change of angular displacement with respect to time therefore this is nothing but omega that is angular velocity so this is omega so i am writing omega first here and then d d theta of this expression okay of this expression so here what is there uh, r r is there then simple algebraic manipulation will give you 1 minus cos theta here 1 minus cos theta okay and then uh, 1 minus cos theta then plus n minus this expression which is root over of n square minus sin square theta right so Okay, this one. Now R is a constant, so this can be taken outside the uh, derivative sign. So R omega, okay, and then d d theta of one is zero, okay, zero, and d d theta of cos theta is minus sine theta, so this becomes plus sine theta, right? d d theta of a is zero, and here minus is there, so minus half okay into into what n square minus sin square theta whole to the power minus half rule of differentiation is known to you so i need not to explain this uh, n square minus sin square theta to the power minus half because if this is equal to half minus one that is minus half and then uh, derivative of minus sin square theta which is equal to minus 2 sin theta cos theta okay minus 2 sin theta cos theta okay so this minus and this minus becomes plus so this is equal to r into omega into sin theta is there so this becomes plus and 2 sin theta cos theta that is equal to sin 2 theta 
right? And this is minus half, so this is equal to this. Okay, so this is what this is the expression for velocity of the piston. Here I am writing. This is the expression for velocity of the piston. This is the full expression. Okay, so this depends upon theta. That means V is not a constant here. R is a constant, omega is a constant, but V is not a constant since theta changes continuously. Okay, from 0 to 0 to what? 360 degree. Okay. 360 degree or 180 degree? You should answer to this question. Theta varies from 0 to 180 degree or 0 to 360 degree? You should think about this and answer to this question. So anyway, so this is the expression for velocity. Okay, now if n square, where n is equal to what? n is equal to, I am writing here, n is equal to L by R, where L is the length of the connecting rod. And R is crank length. So if L is very very greater than R, then N is a very large quantity. So if N is large, therefore N square can be neglected. Uh, sorry, sine square theta. This is sine square theta, not sine two theta. Okay. This sine square theta can be neglected as compared to N square. So what you will get here if you neglect this sine square theta? you will get under root of n square only, that is a. So, in that case, you will get v is equal to r into omega and within bracket sin theta plus sin 2 theta by n. Okay, only this much. v is equal to r into omega into sin theta plus sin 2 theta by n. Let me check whether everything is visible or not. Okay, everything is visible. So, V is equal to this much, okay, you can see clearly that V is equal to R into omega plus, uh, sorry, R omega into sin theta plus sin to theta by L, in which case, when L square is large as compared to sin square theta, okay, and when N square is very, very large, means not N square, if N is very, very large as compared to uh, sine 2 theta, if n is very very large as compared to sine 2 theta, because maximum value of sine 2 theta is known to you, maximum value is 1. So, a, if n is very very large, in that case, this ratio, 1 by that very large quantity, can be neglected as at ease. Okay. Okay. So, in that case, so this you have to make 0. So, in that case, you will get v is equal to r omega and this sine theta okay so this is when when a is very very large as compared to this sine to theta in that case this can be written this way anyway in your numerical calculations in your numerical problems you should always use this expression okay you never use this or this Okay, if it is mentioned in the given problem that you use this one to calculate the velocity of the piston, in that case you can do that thing. Okay, and if nothing is mentioned, theta is given, r is given, omega is given, you need to calculate velocity. In all the cases, you should use this one, this expression, not this one and not this one. Okay, so this was all about velocity of the piston. Okay. Now, next is find, uh, to find out the acceleration of the piston. So, we know that acceleration of the piston is what? Acceleration is equal to rate of change of velocity. So, you can use this one to differentiate. Velocity is known in terms of theta. So, you can find out derivative from here. But, uh, finding derivative of this expression is quite cumbersome. Okay. So, that's why normally this is neglected. If you wish, you can... Uh, differentiate this expression for velocity to get the expression for acceleration but normally what is done uh, instead of using this one or this one normally this one is taken this one is taken because this is uh, easy to differentiate and there is no other reason okay there is no other reason this is easy to differentiate 
So, uh, and if you erase some portion here, okay, this portion, oh, this is also not required here. Uh, okay, so, so what? So V is known, therefore acceleration, 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 acceleration uh, denoted by A small a, uh, this is equal to what? This is equal to rate of change of linear velocity with respect to time. So, which is equal to dv dt. Okay, dv dt. So, this is equal to what? Again, t is not present here. Theta is present. So, you do this thing dv d theta into d theta dt. Here, d theta dt is again nothing but what? Nothing but it is omega. So, omega into d d theta of v. So, we are taking this expression, d d theta of v. So, r into omega into sine theta plus sine to theta by n. Right? And the differentiation of this is very easy. r omega is constant. So, this can be taken outside the derivative. So this becomes r omega square and within bracket derivative of sine theta is cos theta and derivative of sine 2 theta this is 2 cos 2 theta divided by n. Okay. So this is what? This is acceleration. So this is the expression for acceleration of the piston. Okay. Again this acceleration depends upon theta. So here acceleration is going not a constant theta changes and uh, with change in theta a will change okay though r and omega is constant still acceleration is not a constant quantity here anyway uh, you know that at uh, idc means in our jet center if you take idc that is in our jet center in that case you know that theta is equal to zero degree Okay, at IDC that is in object center, theta is equal to 0 degree. So in that case, acceleration is equal to how much? It is r omega square and cos 0. Cos 0 is what? Cos 0 is 1. And here, this is also cos 0 to theta. Theta is 0, so this is cos 0. So 1, so this is equal to 1 plus 2 by n. Okay, 2 by n. And uh, when ODC is there, ODC, that is outer dead center, in that case, theta is equal to 180 degree. Okay, so in that case, you know the acceleration. It is just you put the value of theta, you will get, you know the value of uh, cos 180 degree. Uh, what is value? value is minus 1 and this becomes cos 360 degree that is again 1 so plus 2 by n okay. so at IDC acceleration is this much at ODC acceleration is this much okay uh, still uh, I have discussed all these things about uh, velocity and piston uh, velocity and acceleration of the piston Still, uh, there may be some mistake in calculation. Okay, if you find any mistake or if you have any queries, please you write in the comment box of the uh, confirmed video. Okay. Anyway, uh, this is the end of this lecture. So thank you, thank you for watching this video.